What's going on guys? Today we are checking out the Absolute Black Oval Race Face Cinch Direct Mount Chainring. Now I've heard a lot about these, I've had friends riding them who uh, have had some pretty wicked results with them. So I thought I would uh, quickly walk you through the chainring itself, a quick install and initial impressions. Now as you can see I have gone with two different chainring sizes, one being a 32 and the other being a 34 tooth. Uh, not too sure which one I'm going to fall uh, in love with as the regular day rider, but uh, just to keep the comparison fair, I'm currently running a 32 tooth on my uh, Raceface 6C crank set. So I think I'm going to put on a 32 tooth just to kind of see a direct comparison of tooth count, uh, regardless of if I need to move up to a 34 down the road. So let's go ahead and take that out of the box. You can see right there, it is the Cinch 32. Boom. All right, pull the ring out. And just like that, that's her. Nothing too fancy to it, just a green chain ring with a Cinch mount. Uh, the profiling on the teeth looks really good. The machine work, as you can kind of see here, looks solid. Kind of reminds me of uh, Hope Hope Technologies, some of their stuff, that sharp anodizing with uh, the raw machine marks. It looks really sharp. And then we have the back side of the chainring here. Um, and I think it's this side. That's the, the part there that is the most important. That little dot, you're supposed to put that, uh, align that dead center to your crank arm. So that's supposed to guarantee the maximum effectiveness, yada, yada, yada. We'll see about that. But that's important to note, that little dot there. One of the things that kind of took me by surprise was getting, you know, quote unquote, a personal note from the founder of the company. Um, to me, it's a little bit of a personal touch, just to kind of show that they do want your business and that uh, they stand behind their product and they're not happy until you're satisfied. Um, you know, not a lot of companies are doing that these days. So getting a little note like that really kind of shows me that personal touch is uh, important and the, the backing behind their product is, uh, you know, really nice to have. So here is the uh, trusty 6C crank set with the 32 tooth narrow wide cinch chainring that we're going to be replacing with that green absolute black uh, chainring to match the uh, overwhelming puke like color of the uh, the rain advanced one. So let's make this puppy even more uh, distasteful to the uh, the eyes. We're going to start by taking that 8 mil off. It's on the inside of the crank arm which uh, should pull this off. Some little note that I like to do is pull that clutch on the derailleur off so that allows you a little bit of chain tension to move it around. Just a, I'm not going to say pro tip, but a, a Joe tip on that one. So we have our cinch crank off, our race face 6C. So what we're going to do is use the Park BBT 92 adapter. to get this guy undone, just like that, in order to fit the absolute black. Bing. Here you can kind of see the difference between the two chain rings in terms of one being completely round and the other being oval. Um, both are 32 tooth and both have that cinch mount. So let's get this thrown onto the crank set here and mount it to the bike. Now according to Absolute Black, <clears throat> the very best way to do this is to simply take this chain ring with that little dot right there and that's supposed to be dead center of your crank arm. So that looks to be about dead center there, dots there, middle of the crank arm. So I think that's, uh, gonna, that's gonna be our starting point to mount that chain ring onto. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and tighten this guy down using my very, very accurate tool. That's going to give me a bang on accuracy of my torque spec, which is pretty well that. So this is it completely installed. Um, not sure really what to expect out on the trail, but uh, 
I will post a, a quick review once uh, once that's all done. You know, once again, big thanks to Absolute Black for sorting through some of my questions. And uh, install was a breeze. So not sure what to expect, but uh, should be pretty good. And the method behind the madness. So you see that? It's not round, it's oval. The theory being where your stroke is the heaviest, you have the greater increase in teeth count or tooth count, making it harder to pedal. But that's where your power is. As your foot is coming back up the backside, your tooth count decreases, making it easier for rotation. So in theory, you have greater power where you need it and weaker leverage where you don't need it. So in theory, it makes it for a more powerful, more engineered chainring for riding. The other thing too here, um, I'll be completely honest with you guys, if I don't like this, or if I think this is stupid, I will let you guys know. Um, thanks for tuning in, and uh, appreciate you stopping by. Catch you out there.